As you can see here, baby ferrets are all growing up at an alarming rate now. Eat me out of house and home. I've got three litters. You'd be amazed how much food these ferrets go through. And uh, I'm running out, so got plenty of sunlight. We're now going to off off. We're going to get the mother of these litters out. We're going to go for a little bit of ferreting. We're going to catch a few rabbits and the, uh, come back home and then hopefully relax. After a short drive, we arrived at our destination, brimming with wildlife. Teletubby Hill, Warrens close to my heart, but unfortunately shadows of their former self. That need not worry me today, I was here to chill out. After a long and arduous season working the ferret, it was just nice to be out for a few hours chilled out on top of the warren, taking in the atmosphere. The ferrets though had other ideas. They've only got one thing on their mind today. All collared up, Bella Mark and her warren. Now my job is to honour this mark, put in one of the pigfield ferrets and hopefully get a bolt. Once under terra firma, the pigfield ferret had to work really hard in locating what she wanted to flush. And then once she got her in her sights, she set about doing what she does best. The rabbit bolted. Bella was in hot pursuit. She tried to strike once or twice, but then, as a telegraph pole loomed, she slowed off slightly to avoid a collision. Upon the rabbit getting under the ground, Bella wasted no time in returning to see if there's anything else happening. After finding and flushing their rabbit, this ferret returned to the top of the ground, worked the grass like a fine cocker spaniel, found its box and gave us a great as ever hint it was time for the bacon butties. Luckily for me, not only does Steve Taylor take great pictures, he cooks up a great bacon buddy. After washing the bacon buddies down, the weather was changing. First of all, we had a bit of rain, then a bit of sun, then a bit more rain, then a bit more sun. And after a dig or two, well, I decided to get the ferrets and call it a day. Well that was another enjoyable day's ferreting. Just got to decolour the ferrets now and get them ready for the journey home. The longest day, relaxing day's ferreting. Don't do it that often, probably not often enough. Cups of tea, bacon sandwiches. Not too fussed if a rabbit or two got away, especially with Bella behind it. And give the ferrets a little bit of an outing because it's been hectic, summer shows, everything else has been getting there. And it's been quite nice to sit on top of a warren. The sunshine, the rain, the hill, the clouds, we've had four seasons in one day, could be nowhere else in England. So I'll box these up, get in the truck and we'll be off. So until we see you again, happy hunting.